Hi lovelies, welcome back to a very daring tutorial. We are working with the Lover's Knot and this is the Lover's Knot Maxi Dress. This dress is airy, it has a gracefully flowing silhouette, it has a modest v-neck and then a daring deep v at the back. I love it and I want to show you guys how to make this. Remember, a written pattern is already in my online shops and there are several more tutorials with this very same stitch you can check on my channel. So let's get into this one and see how we make it. First, I am working with Robin 100% acrylic. It is size 4 yarn and I advise we all work with size 4 because um, size 2 is going to really be a lot of work. Um, also, I am working with a 3.5 millimeter hook. I feel like this is the hook that gives me the best gapping that I want, like the best loop gap sizes that I need, as you can look at this, okay? Not very big and not too small, but just, just enough, right? So to get started, I am going to make a slip knot and I'm going to insert my hook into that loop and work two chains, okay? <coughs> So um, once I have my two chains, I'm going to get into the second chain stitch from the hook and work a single crochet. Now to work my very first salmon knot or lover's knot, I'm going to pull up a loop like that to some length. Now I will yarn over and pull through a loop, then get into that very same yarn strand and work my single crochet just like that. So now um, at this point, I'm going to pull up a loop and yarn over, pull through that loop, get into that very same strand of yarn and work my single crochet. So I have worked my second salmon knot. Now to end my row, I am going to pull up a loop and then yarn over, get back into the single crochet that started the row. And in there, I'll pull up a loop like that. Make sure it's of similar heights as the other loops. And now yarn over, pull through all the three loops, chain one, Get back into the three strands of yarn that are facing you and pull through a loop like that. Then work your single crochet just like that by yarning over and pulling through all the two loops. So what we have here is four salmon knots. Okay, if you look closely, you will see that we have four salmon knots. But how we end the row for the last two? is a little bit different because we want to make sure that we are midway a double salmon knot so i'm going to get my stitch marker and mark the very first uh single crochet that we worked so that we can easily um, recognize or identify our starting point so that we don't confuse it going forward and that's what you should also do so you can see that we have four salmon knots if you look closely that's one two three and then four okay now um to get started on our second row this is what's going to happen you're going to pull up a loop and yarn over pull through that loop and work a single crochet into that same strand of yarn just like that my hook got tighter my yarn got tighter so yes <clears throat> you pull it through to work your single crochet and now to work your second salmon knot you do the very same thing pull up a loop yarn over pull through that loop and then get into that strand of yarn and work a single crochet and here we are going to need three salmon knots so these are the terms i'm going to be using from now if there are three salmon knots i will say a triple salmon knot if there are two i will say a double salmon knot if it is one i'll just say a salmon knot now we are going to skip one loop and get into the single crochet of that salmon knot or that loop right there and work a single crochet. Okay, now for the next, we are going to work one salmon knot just like that. And once we have our one salmon knot, we are going to pull up a loop and yarn over, hold our strands onto our hook like that our loops onto our hook like that skip one skip one loop and get into the single crochet of that loop and pull through a loop like that and then we are going to yarn over and pull through all the three loops on our hook work a chain 
get back into the three strands of yarn that are facing you and work your single crochet like that now you see what we have at first we had four salmon knots which gave us one loop gap right there and then we had three salmon knots on this side and three salmon knots on the other side to give us two loop gaps you see that so literally we are increasing with the salmon knot what i like about the tutorials i'm sharing with you guys make you master this stitch very well by now everyone knows how to increase decrease i haven't yes decrease decrease as well and also work the salmon knot not in rounds okay now what's going to happen here is we are going to work a triple salmon knot that means we are going to work three salmon knots just like that and we are going to skip one loop right there so we work into that single crochet and we work a single crochet in there then we are going to once again work two salmon knots which is a double salmon knot So you are going to work your double salmon knot by pulling up a loop and yeah just like that so that is one we are going to work a second one <coughs> and once you have your two salmon knots uh we are now for the first time we are going to skip two loops okay so we skip the one that goes down and the one that goes up and into that single crochet after the one that goes up we insert our hook and work a single crochet see what we have and now um we are now to end our row we are going to work one salmon knot just like that and we are going to yarn uh, sorry pull up a loop and then yarn over make sure it's of similar height skip one loop and get into the single crochet after that one loop insert your hook in there and pull through a loop so we have three loops on our hook and we are going to yarn over and pull through all the three loops on the hook and work a chain then we shall get back through the three strands of yarn that are facing you and work a single crochet so that's how we end our row okay because we want to make sure that we are at the center of the last two um salmon knots now if you look at our work closely you see that this time on this row we have three loop gaps with what we have done now to work our next row this is what will happen we are going to work a triple salmon knot so that means we are going to work three salmon knots okay so that's our first one pull your loop up yarn over pull through that loop and get into that strand of yarn and work a single crochet that's our second and now you work the third now you realize that since we are working an increase every time we are getting the row started we work three salmon knots once you have your three salmon knots you're going to skip one loop you're going to skip one loop which is right there right there so you get into that single crochet right there and work your single crochet just like that now um here we are going to work two salmon knots so um that's your first one and then you work the second right there so that's the second and now we are going to skip two that means we are skipping the loop that goes down and then the loop that goes up okay so um here it is see that loop that goes down into a single crochet so that one and then that one now we get into the single crochet after the second loop and in there we work our single crochet now once again we are going to work a double salmon knot which is two salmon knots so that's the first one 
and then we get into working the second one and once we have all two solomon knots we are now going to skip two knots as well sorry two loops get into the single crochet after the second loop and work our single crochet just like that and now to end our row this is what will happen we are going to um, work one solomon knot just like that And now we are going to pull up a loop, yarn over, skip one loop, get into the single crochet after that one loop, and pull through a loop. So we have three loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through all the three loops on your hook. Work a chain, get back into uh, the three strands that are facing you and work a single crochet. Now, the intention of this is for us to end up midway the last two loop loops sorry the last two loops so as you can see on my last row that i have i have um four loop gaps now what's going to happen if you still need to work increments this is what's going to happen let me just explain it so it's easier for you that still need to work increases to start your row you start with three solomon knots and after that three solomon knots and you only skip one loop after that you keep working two solomon knots until you have one loop left to end your row that's where you work your one knot sorry your single <coughs> solomon knot and then end the row in the manner that i have showed you that we have to end our rows so be very keen on this very last row because it's the last one i work of an increment First, you work your three solomon knots just like you see them here. I will skip one loop and work a single crochet into the next loop right there. Sorry, into the next single crochet after that loop. So I work a single crochet. And then after this, I'm going to be working two solomon knots or a double solomon knot. Just like that so that's the second one and now from here I be skipping two loop gaps and working a single crochet into um, the second loop gap okay no I worked three sorry yes you work two solomon knots and then skip two loop gaps get into the single crochet after the second after sorry yeah after the second uh, loop right there and work a single crochet once again you work a double solomon knot so you work two solomon knots that's my second one and once you have that you're going to skip to one that goes down and the one that goes up work a single crochet into the single crochet after the second loop right there you see so i still have um once again i'm going to work two loop sorry two solomon knots yeah and once i work my two solomon knots i'm going to skip two loops and get into the single crochet after the second loop and work a single crochet right there so now i have one loop left to end my row see that you don't count the other because the other one is a post for our previous row so now here I'm going to work one single um, solomon knot and then I'll pull up a loop, yarn over, be keen on how we end our row. This is how we end it. Once you yarn over, make sure it is of similar height, insert your hook into the single crochet after the next loop, pull through all the three loops on your hook, work a chain, get back into those three strands of yarn facing you and work your single crochet. Now that's how you end your row. And as you can see, I have more loop gaps than the previous row. So that means I worked an increment. Now, guys, for me, this is the width I need for my dress. This is enough width for me. And this width should be equivalent to quarter of your bust. A quarter of your bust, more like your left breast cup. Or the width of your left breast. All right? But the best way to do it is take your bust measurements, divide them by four. The result you get 
and you put your tape measure onto the bottom of this, it should be equivalent to the, the quarter of your bust, all right? Now, um, if your left breast cup that amounted to five rows like I have, because me, I have five rows in total, when I count one, two, three, four, five, that means you are going to follow everything we did, but instead this time you're going to make four rows, okay? So if your breast cap took six rows, when you're making your second breast cap, follow everything we have done from the start, but work five rows. So that means for your second breast cap, you're going to work one row less, okay? For example, this is my second breast cap. I have made it here. I have five rows. And on this one, I have one, two, three, four rows. Now, there is a reason as to why it is four rows because I want my last row to be attached onto my left breast cap, okay? I want this last row that I work to be attached onto my left breast cap while I make it. So follow everything we have done and make your second breast cap. And once you are there, then you're going to do what I'm going to do right now, okay? Now, when you are here, you are going to pull up a loop like that and work your Solomon knot. <coughs> Sorry, I keep standing up so that I make sure that I am recording what I am recording and not doing something different. So yes, um, you work your, sing your Solomon knot and now you are going to get into that corner, that single crochet that ended your um, last row of the left breast cap you see that there is that first loop now the single crochet of that loop okay you get in there and work your slip stitch like that so i have successfully attached my right breast cap onto my left breast cap and now i'm going to work my final row that is going to match the rows as the left breast cap so here i'm going to work two solomon knots remember when we are starting the row i told you we start with three solomon knots so i work the first one then work the slip stitch to attach it to my left breast cap and now i'm working the last two solomon knots that i had to work and once i have those two solomon knots i'm going to skip one loop right there and get into the single crochet after that loop okay right there don't count the you know the lower one is it's a post for our our row okay so yes we work a single crochet in there and now we are going to work two solomon knots to match everything that we have been doing but you can see that we already have our v our modest v neck okay now um here we are going to Yes, we are going to work our two Solomon knots. Get through with the second one. Just like that. And once you have the two Solomon knots, you're going to skip two loops and get into the single crochet of the second loop. Skip that and that and that, the, that single crochet after the second loop is where we get into and work a single crochet. And now once again, we are going to work our two loops, sorry, two uh, single, uh, two Solomon knots, I'm sorry. Um, yes, we work our two Solomon knots. And once we have our two Solomon knots, skip, we are st sorry, still we are going to skip um, two loops and get into the single crochet after the second loop. Um, work a single crochet in there. Work two Solomon knots or work a double Solomon knot um yeah and skip two right and get into the single crochet after the second one now as you can see we are left with only one loop right there to end our row which is that so we work one solomon knot remember this is how we have to end our rows for increments uh, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert your hook into the single crochet after the next loop and pull up a loop. Um, yarn over, pull through all the three loops, work a chain, get back into the three 
strands of yarn that face you and work a single crochet now that's how you work your breast cups and now you see that we have all of them of similar rows number of rows and they're all fully attached okay now we are going to keep increasing so that when we fold it at the back it keeps doing that v that we have at the front okay so we are just going to keep increasing this side and the other side and you already know how to increase but let me just work this with you guys so that it is easier and also it gets you to master this stitch pattern um to start our row just like we have been starting our rows guys we start with a triple solomon knot so that means we start with three solomon knots i really am planning to make uh pants of this very same stitch i don't know how you guys are going to welcome this one but i just want us to master this stitch for this month yeah i want us to master this stitch and after this month we are going to do something different now um we are going to skip one loop get into the single crochet after that one loop and work a single crochet yeah and now from here we are going to keep working double solomon knots double solomon knots okay and skipping two skipping two skipping two so once we have our double solomon knot we are going to skip two and work a single crochet after the second loop so um yeah we are going to skip two um two loops and work a single crochet into the single crochet stitch after the second loop and once we have our single crochet we are going to work our two solomon knots once again yeah and yes skip two loops and get into the second single crochet after the second loop and work a single crochet yeah then work two solomon knots this this is what we do repeatedly until we have only one loop left to end our row honestly if this stitch is going to confuse you make use of your stitch markers so that you can mark why you need to end your row why you need to you know it becomes easier for me it's just so easy to identify what everything has to go because the moment you make one slight mistake with this stitch pattern it just stops flowing it is so obvious it stops flowing you lose the flow of it next thing you know the gaps do not make squares the gaps are just not making kites so yeah as you can see i am just um, continuing with double solomon knots now i'm just i just wanted to show you when i get to where we joined our work from there is a loop right there it's just that it is so short but there is a single crochet right there so i'm going to work my double solomon knots that's why it's very good to hold your loops onto your hook so that they you know come out of similar height okay but i already made the mistake so yeah there is a single crochet right there it's just that my loop was not of similar height but yes you can see that um we just need to keep skipping two loops and working a single crochet into the single crochet after the second loop so this is what you keep doing until you have only one loop left to end your row now this is where i am i have one loop left to end my row and that is right there so to end my row just like i have been ending it i'm going to work one solomon knot and i'm going to yarn over sorry pull up a loop and yarn over insert my hook into the single crochet after the next loop pull up a loop and now pull through all the three loops work my chain stitch get back uh through the three um strands of yarn that face me and work a single crochet that's how you end your row now it's not going to be any different from the next rows after this okay it's not we are just going to keep doing this very same thing 
working um three three loops until it is wide enough for us to fold at the back to create that deep v at the back so i'm just going to show you this one row so that you know you work the next rows on your own so to start your row you're going to work three salmon knots because we are still increasing you work three salmon knots and turn your work we shall skip the very first loop and get into the single crochet after that loop work our single crochet so when we are starting and ending the row we only skip one loop but um during you know the middle of the whole entire row we'll be skipping two loops okay so now we are going to work two solomon knots and we shall skip two loops and work a single crochet after into the single crochet after the second loop so yes um like i said we just continue working our double solomon knot uh double solomon knots and skipping two loops and working a single crochet after that second loop into the single crochet after the second loop and once again work your two solomon knots or your double solomon knot skip to work a single crochet into the single crochet after the second loop okay so you skip two loops and yes just continue doing this working two solomon knots uh skipping two right until you are right here until you have one loop right there once you are right here you will just end your row exactly how we have been ending our row where we work one solomon knot and then you know pull up a loop and insert our hook into that single crochet and you know yes so this is what you're going to do repeatedly starting with triple solomon knots working your double solomon knots and skipping two and then ending your row in the manner that i've been showing you how you should end your row and you will just keep doing this until you have a width that matches your bust okay until you have a width that matches your bust i am working for a bust that is around 32 33 so i'm going to make sure that my width um at the bottom of my project is equivalent to those inches and once i have that i'm just going to get back and show you how to now work the lower bit of your dress okay so right now we have 20 inches just get through with it until you have you know um an equivalent to your bust okay why i am working with the best measurements is um this stitch pattern is in position to stretch out to any hip size for as long as we get the measurements right that i tell you guys to consider okay because it has room for expansion and that's what i love about it so here it is i have worked a couple of rows a number of rows from um you know where i last left you guys and this is what i have from my end this side yeah from this way all the way going um i'll turn my step measure so it's you know clear all the way going to this way it is so wide you see that i have about 34 um, um i later took off like one row yeah i later took off one row but yes those are the measurements that i have and that's the width of my you know project that's that's the width of it now i'm going to flip my work and get these ends to meet okay because like i said this is for the deep v at the back and once we have all the width that we need excuse me um we are going to look at you see that post the the loop that makes the last post of the last row Remember, we'll be working three uh, solomon knots when starting the row. Now we get into the single crochet after the first solomon knot that started the row. And in there, we are going to work a slip stitch. Yeah, this makes us join the two together. So in this way, we have created a deep V at the back of our work. And that's how it should look like, right? now this means that we are going to start working the solomon knot in rounds and i have made a tutorial 
about making a skirt with this very same stitch pattern but since most of you cannot be referred to that video let's get everything into this video and see that we work it to finish but just in case you do not get to know how to maneuver from here refer to my video for the skirt so from here because i want us to be at the center of our double salmon knots i'm going to chain four and skip one loop get into the single crochet after that one loop and work a single crochet so this puts me at the center of the two last um, salmon knots now to get my first row for the rounds started i'm going to work two salmon knots I'm sorry today the lighting outside is really you know somehow bright somehow hushy but let's work with it um, <clears throat> as you can see I'm going to skip two salmon knots the chain four that I worked and then the I'm going to skip two uh, loops the chain four that I worked because I've turned my row turned my work and then the loop on the other side and after that I'm going to work a single crochet into the next loop now once I have that, I'm going to work two salmon knots and I'm going to skip two, get into the single crochet after the second loop and work my single crochet. Um, so from here, I'm going to work two salmon knots once again, just like that. And I'm going to skip two. I will skip two. Um, loops and get into the single crochet after the second loop and i'll work a single crochet in there um pull up a loop work my two single sing, sorry my two salmon knots and skip two loops work uh, a single crochet into the single crochet stitch after the second loop this is what i keep doing all the way around because now that i am done working increments what is left is working only two salmon knots until i have two loops left to end my row right <clears throat> so until you see this is where i need to to find you guys because that's why we'll have those two uh knots left to end my row the easiest thing to do is get your stitch marker mark your very your very first single crochet that gets you started on each row so that it is easy for you to you know find where you started your row so that you don't lose count of it but for me it was very easy because i have a chain four that is going on previously so I, it was so easy to find where i stopped now just like we have been ending the previous rows i will pull up a loop yarn over insert sorry skip two loops insert my hook into the single crochet that started the row pull up a loop yarn over pull through all the three loops work a chain get back into those three uh, strands of yarn and work my single crochet this is exactly how we have been ending our previous rows but this time we are ending it once we have two loops left to end our row so once we have and ended our row we are just going to do the very same thing <coughs> now guys to make it easy put your stitch marker at the very first sorry single crochet that has started the row so it is easy for you to identify where you started from so once you have your double salmon knot you're going to skip two loops get into the the single crochet after the second loop and work a single crochet once again work your double salmon knot skip two loops work a single crochet into the next single crochet stitch and yes do the very same thing work your double salmon knot just like i'm doing um skip two loops and get into that single crochet after the second loop work your single crochet so this is what you just keep doing honestly until you are you see that's where we started okay so you're going to go on with your double salmon knots all the way around until you have two loops left to end your row okay you see that loop right there this you should be right there so that you have two loops now how i ended the previous row is how you end this row and that's how you're going to be ending the next rows after this because this is what you're going to keep doing um just keep doing this in rounds until you have the length of the dress that you desire honestly if how i have worked the first row of the you know salmon knot has confused you i have a tutorial on how to um 
work this in rounds because i already have a scar tutorial on my channel please refer to that and now i'm just going to take you guys through uh through how to work your um straps here it's very easy get the yarn ends that we have we had when starting the project and work a magic knot i hope you guys are well conversant with this magic knot thing it's just getting the upper putting your yarn your yarn ends into a parallel kind of you know uh both of them not facing each other and making a knot onto the lower strand of yarn and then the lower strand of yarn making a knot to the upper strand of yarn okay if this confuses you or you don't know how to work your magic knot there are so many youtube tutorials on how to join your yarn using this magic knot so you just join your yarn like that using the magic knot and once you have joined your yarn like this you will cut off the yarn ends very close to the knot because this is the best knot you can work with joining yarn honestly it's the best knot it's very invisible it's perfect so you cut your yarn end like that so close to the magic knot so that it does not appear anywhere and now once you have that and you know it is secure enough very well fastened you are now <clears throat> going to yarn over insert your hook into the single crochet stitch that started your row in there yeah and pull through a loop and work a single crochet and once you have your single crochet we are just now going to work chains and chains and chains and chains okay chains and chains until you have a string or strap long enough for what you are looking for all right and this is the very same thing that you do on your other breast cap and work your strap and once you have that you should have the length of the dress that you desire you should have the deep v at the back i'm just going to give you an insight on how to close up the v at the back just in case it is too deep okay and this is how now to close up the deep v if it is too deep you will make um, a knot and make a strand of about 50 chains pass it through these loop gaps going down and then all the way going up at least about five loops then once you have that fasten it it will close up it will close up this gap like that so that your v is not too deep okay you know so to just close it up like that just have that string pass through like that and then it will close it up like that I hope you have learned something guys thank you so much for watching i love to see you all in my next tutorial hopefully pants for this very same stitch pattern get the written pattern on my online shops thank you so much guys for watching goodbye